Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Drew Barry. Now, while we wait for that closed beta, which was just announced to be in July, I cannot wait to play this game again. We're going to keep it up with the custom Marvel Rivals characters. Some concepts to throw at you guys for some popular Marvel characters. And who better than Wolverine? I find the X-Men are a little bit underrepresented, so that's why I've been doing a couple of them lately. We just did Professor X, and here is Wolverine. Now, I've got all the abilities right here. I'm going to break them down, but then we're also going to talk about some team-up abilities with other characters that exist in the game, as well as a potential team composition that I think would be fun and some counters to this character. So starting it off, Wolverine is a Vanguard, which is the tank role in Marvel Rivals. But with Wolverine, he actually has the least amount of health compared to any other of those tanks. He only has 500, and that's offset by having passive health regen. That actually doesn't exist in Marvel Rivals. You have to either get healed by your healer, your support, your strategist, or you have to find a little health drop throughout the map. That's the only ways to really get health back, or unless your character has it, of course. Uh, but Wolverine, he can basically just be idle and get that health back. But it's kind of slow. It's five per second. So you're in a minute, you're going to get 300 back. That's only uh, three-fifths of your total health pool. So it's not like uh, totally reliable, but it's present. It could maybe get you out of a pinch. And it plays a little bit of an important role, which we'll get to in a moment. And I thought it was also just thematic, right? He's always healing back. It just lines up with Wolverine. So his basic attack, his left mouse button is going to be his claws, of course. And it's going to happen in a three-stage attack. So the first one's going to be the left claw. The second's going to be the right claw. Essentially, that is the same. It's going to have the same hitbox, but it's just for animation purposes. You'd be left, right, and the third is an X swipe. So the X swipe is going to be a critical hit, and that is only going to occur if you click the left mouse button three times in a row, if you basic attack three times in a row. If there's like a little bit of a wait in between or you do something else in between, it's going to reset back to that first stage of the left swipe and then the right swipe and then the X strike as the third consecutive hit. So you kind of want to be attacking in batches in a melee, melee range. His right mouse button is going to be on the prowl. This is going to be on a five second cooldown and he's going to leap forward in an arc. Uh, that is very similar to what Hulk has in his kit, except with Wolverine, you can press it again to stop the leap and perform an X strike wherever you are. Okay, so another critical hit, and uh, it's similar to the third attack in his basic attack chain. Then you got the left shift, which is sense of vengeance. So this is going to be a passive ability. Now, I've made Wolverine a one star character for quite a few reasons, but uh, one of the biggest being that there's less buttons to click and think about. There's a lot of passive abilities built into his kit, which I think just it generally makes characters a lot easier to learn and understand. Um, and one of those is Sense of Vengeance. So it's uh, a passive ability that Wolverine has. And he has vision of the last enemy who defeated him. So whoever actually did the final hit and took out Wolverine, let's say it was Hela sniping him from across the map. Well, when he respawns, he's going to be able to find her. He's going to see her through all the walls. He's going to know exact positioning for that Hela player uh, until he is defeated by someone else again. And it's going to reset to whoever who, that new character is who defeated him. He's out for revenge but he does not go down easily because his e ability is undying will now this has a massive cooldown a full minute a 60 second cooldown which means in a typical match you can only use this maybe eight to ten times if you're using it on repeat on cooldown it has a two second duration and what it does is when wolverine takes fatal damage during undying will so that two second window he will instead recover to full health so it's a really great way to reset your health total or maybe take a big hit. Maybe that Punisher is going out with his ultimate and he's just mowing people down. You want to jump right in front, click on Dying Will. He's going to pepper you, but then you'll go back to full health, which is going to be great. This is also going to fall in line with the ability later on, uh, but it's just a good way to absorb damage. That Iron Man's dealing out that giant AoE damage. You can use Undying Will to soak it up. Uh, and then you can also have that health regen that's going to help out a little bit after you do that. So, just another way for Wolverine to stay in the fight, keep going. Then he's got his F ability was going to be another passive, and that's the wrong house, bub. So Wolverine is going to respawn where he is defeated. Wolverine doesn't really die in, you know, the, the lore of Wolverine. He's just, he gets knocked down. He's get, Whatever happens to him, he gets back up, right? So I thought for this game, it would be appropriate if he just kind of, as an animation, ended up laying wherever he was defeated. And then uh, as the respawn timer ticks down and ends, he just gets back up. 
wherever he was laying. And that has, you know, some consequence to it. Your opponent knows, oh, Wolverine's in the back line. He's going to respawn in 10 seconds or something like that. You can see the respawn timers of your enemies. So you'd have to be wary of, yeah, okay, we just took out Wolverine, but he's right behind us. He's going to spawn right behind us. And we got to, you know, take action on that. And maybe if we time it right, we'll just group together and kill him right as he respawns, which would be really annoying, right? As the Wolverine player, you just keep spawning, dying, spawning, dying. You're not really helping your team. It's a bit annoying. Well, don't worry. You can press F again to respawn with your team instead. So it has that option. Now you're kind of, you know, juking the enemy team. Maybe your corpse is lying there right up until the final couple seconds. Then you click F and you go back to your team spawn. So they're worried about behind because you might respawn, uh, but maybe you don't and you go back with your team. Lots of interesting strategic play, I think, there with that ability to be pretty fun. Lastly, we got his ultimate ability and that is going to be Hot Claws. So I was doing a little bit of reading and uh, by my understanding is that Wolverine's regenerative ability would kick into overdrive, creating his claws to get super high, and then he could basically tear through anything. So I thought, how do I create an ability with that in mind? This is what I came up with. So it has a 10 second duration and basic attacks are going to deal more damage. That's it. That's basically the bottom line of it. It starts off at a 1.5 times modifier, but here's the kicker. When damage is taken during Hot Claws, that 10 second window, you're going to permanently increase Hot Claws damage. So it's going to be 0.1 increase on that modifier per 100 damage taken. So what happens if, like I said that example previously, the Punisher uses his ultimate, he's going to be mowing everyone down and he turns his sight on you. You have full health, you have 500 health. You get absolutely obliterated all the way down to just a little bit of HP and use Undying Will. So that's going to, you know, you're going to die, but you'll get your health right back to full. That means you took 500 clean damage and you had hot claws activated. That 500 damage taken is going to equate to 0.5 increase modifier basic attack to your hot claws ultimate. So you can imagine after a few times of using this, your basic attacks are going to hit like a truck because you're going to be eventually you're going to be at like three times modifier when you click hot claws and get those basic attacks going. Um, and all you have to do is make sure that you absorb enough damage. And it's a 10 second window. It's not just like one 500 health. Like if healers are keeping you up, you're in the front lines, just taking damage like nonstop. You can maybe get like a crazy increase on just one trigger of this ultimate. So the idea is you in the early rounds, you're looking to stack. You want to use your ultimate, take as much damage as you can without dying, and then that will further increase the damage that your ultimate can do later on in the game. So Wolverine is kind of this, you know, backline disruptive character, always respawning, getting in the backline, annoying the healers, uh, getting in melee range, getting jumping around. But then he's also stacking his basic attacks throughout the match. So he's going to be a late game menace you'd have to really watch out if his hot claws get geared up that's what i had in mind with this character let me know what you think uh let's talk about some of the team up abilities with wolverine all right so here are some of the team up abilities so i thought magneto would be a very interesting one and i wanted to see involve movement since magneto can essentially manipulate the bone structure the adamantium of wolverine and move him around in the lore so how could i incorporate that as a benefit when they're on the same team without being too annoying and it might seem a little vanilla but i thought it'd be fun if wolverine just got an extra jump so he could jump and then you know just by default magneto doesn't have to do anything he could jump again but he would have an animation that looks kind of like a magnetic field pushing him up so throughout the match he would have an extra jump which could be really helpful for a vanguard that's looking to dive the back line. Next team up ability is Storm. So she has Windshield. Storm can activate to give Wolverine a Windshield that damages enemies on contact. So he's, you know, he's trying to get in that tight range, getting up close with the enemies. And we want a little bit of extra damage to get him over the hump. Well, wind, Windshield's going to give him some help. It does not give him a shield in terms of health, bonus health or anything like that. This is purely a damaging ability, but it's an aura that would circle around him. I don't know what the cooldown would be for this necessarily. It's hard to gauge the team up abilities, but I'm thinking like in the realm of, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. Then you got the last team up ability and that is with Black Panther and it is the pack attack. I was thinking, you know, we got two feral characters here that are looking to dive the back line. So wouldn't it be cool if they could coordinate and be on the same page and if they were attacking the same hero, they'd get an increase to their basic attack damage. 
That's basically the idea. Work together, jump it around. It'd be really menacing for like a squishy backline team, uh, but could also get really hard countered by some stuns, which brings us to our counters. So for counters, I was thinking, you know, pretty much the two main things is flyers and stuns. Uh, Iron Man and Storm are pretty nasty because Wolverine will not be able to reach them. Doctor Strange is awful because he's gonna he's got an ability that can allow him to fly up in the air if it gets a little bit too dangerous. But then on top of that, he has an ultimate that has a massive stun to it, so that is nasty. And then Penny Parker actually has stuns and she can lay a bunch of mines, which is going to make it very difficult for Wolverine to attack the backline safely, especially when he respawns and she just drops a bunch of mines right on his respawn. That would be terrible. <laughs> so I see those as being pretty nasty counters, but pretty much anything that has a stun is going to be quite annoying because he wants to be auto attacking a whole bunch, eating the enemy team alive. Uh, but when it comes to a team comp, I don't think this would be a strong team comp as, you know, in the alpha show that some of these characters are pretty weak. In fact, I would say I'd have three of some of the most weak characters in the game in this composition. However, I think it'd be really fun to play out a match with this team. And that is with Black Panther and Wolverine being these, those diving back lines. We've got the team up ability active. We're looking to pounce on the enemy. And then you got Hulk to help them out as well to absorb some damage and just get in there with, with Wolverine. And then Rocket's one of the better ones. He's going to also help resurrect anyone who goes down. That could be Wolverine, I guess, um, if we don't want to make use of his passive ability. But then he's also got Storm to give that team up ability and Loki for the long range damage and heals. So I think that would be a very fun team composition. So yeah, that is my Wolverine concept. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If there's a character you'd like to see me cover, I was thinking the next one might be Nightcrawler because I really want to see Nightcrawler as a duelist. Uh, but we'll see. I I've been doing a lot of X-Men, so might have to mix it up. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.